3 News investigates is getting results. You recall earlier this week we took you inside grocery stores to see if shoppers and workers were following state guidelines. Investigator Rachel Polanski spotted some were not. So today she went back to see if anything changed. On Monday, 3 News investigates took you inside these 10 stores and we evaluated them in four categories. One, was an occupancy sign posted? Two, were carts and baskets being wiped down? Three, were people maintaining six feet of distance in lines? And four, approximately how many people were wearing masks? Right now it's critical to follow the rules so you don't get sick. All 10 stores had occupancy signs posted at the entrance. Turn around, sir. And floor markings and stickers encouraging social distancing. A much better experience than before. The same could not be said for carts and baskets being wiped down at five stores. The health and safety of our customers and team members is our main priority. But that changed today when we stopped by the same Save-A-Lot in North Randall and we noticed this, a new cart cleaning station set up right at the entrance. That was cool, you know, because we wear masks, so I mean, it lets you know that they're taking it serious and right. that's a good thing. We also spotted more workers wearing their masks, much different than what we saw the last time we stopped by. All right, and now we are at Target, where last time we did not see any employees wiping down carts. We also spotted a number of employees wearing their masks improperly. Well, we talked with corporate. We're back now. Let's see if they made some changes. Are these ones cleaned? Yes. Awesome, thanks. Two steps into the Target at Steelyard Commons and the changes were noticeable. We were immediately greeted by an employee wiping down the carts. And as we walked around the store where we once spotted workers with their masks tucked under their chins, today we spotted more masks being worn properly by employees and also by customers. Oh, I've been wearing a mask every time I come out of my car and go into a public place. I have lights in my car, I wipe my hands off. Even though I sanitized in there, I wipe my hands off so that I don't contaminate myself. So at least two stores have taken immediate action after our investigation. Good news as we head into the weekend where I'm sure a lot of folks like myself plan on doing our weekly grocery shopping. Now, if you want to take a look at all of our investigations findings, you can head on over to WKYC.com. Rachel Polanski, 3 News.